Welcome. We're here at Darwin Football Stadium on a Saturday afternoon. We've got a, a lovely breeze coming in from the northwest. It's going to cool everything down, including the players and what they find on the uh, pitch here this afternoon. Uh, it's uh, one sleep to go, uh, and now that sleep's gone, so we're here. It is so good to be here for the second semi final of the Women's Premier League. Thank you for joining us on this live streaming on the Football NT TV network, also the FFA digital channels. My name is Bruce Stalder. We'll have Alex Button and uh, John Tamboros bring you this game live. I know they're excited, the anticipation's clear. There's it's finals time, you can smell it in the air. Particularly in the Northern Territory, you can feel it in the air. It is, it's, it's a switch and we're into it now. And last night was just fantastic. We had Mindel take on Katarina. Uh, the advantage was with Katarina. They came into the game with more momentum. But Mindel, through two amazing goals from Kirby, their captain, uh, took the way of the game and they're in the big dance. They got a 2-0 victory last night. Which one of these teams, Litchfield FC, or Hellenic will join them in the grand final next Saturday night. This will be a pulsating game of football. It uh, promises a lot in terms of a defensive pattern that Litchfield have been working on since around we got back from COVID. And it really is now the best defence in the Women's Premier League here in Darwin. And there, pardon me, I'm getting excited. Uh, they're up against Hellenic who uh, are clear way and above the most attacking and uh, effective team in the top third. Uh, Gemma, um, uh, sorry, Jenna Martin, um, and a whole range of other players up the front there, Raya Martin, I meant, Myatt, uh, and Gemma Martin, and other players there will contribute well to uh, Hellenic's uh, attacking raids and offensive uh, work this afternoon. But as I said, up against a, a back four that Litchfield have um, got their uh, mojo back. Uh, the midfielder was working really tight in defence as well, and then we'll just see how they go. And we'll know pretty much after around 20 minutes, I think, from this game to see which of those two ends, the defensive end or the offensive end of Hellenic, is going to have the advantage in this game. Uh, also, we have uh, Men's Premier League later on tonight where we'll feature Hellenic again, the Premiers in the Men's Premier League. They'll be taking on um, Kazarina. Last night's game in the Men's Premier League was just fantastic as well. There were four goals, uh, couldn't separate them, and then we had 15 goals scored in the penalty shootout. So for a spectator and a neutral, it was a fantastic game of football here last night at the Darwin Football Stadium. So thank you for joining us on this live streaming. Sit back. We won't be far away. We'll hear from Alex and John, and we'll get this game underway.
Welcome to Darwin Football Stadium for tonight's Women's Premier League semi-final between Litchfield and Hellenic. I'm Alex Bunton and tonight I'm joined with John Tamburis who's going to be the expert analysis as always. Good afternoon Alex. Good afternoon mate, how are you? Uh, beautiful day, uh, actually a beautiful dry season day, I wouldn't say wet season yet. Um, obviously got a breeze blowing from left to right here and um, conditions are perfect for this game, the pitch is in good nick. And I'm really looking forward to, to seeing this one uh, pan out tonight. We saw a great game last night, Alex, with uh, Mendel and um, uh, Mendel and uh, Casarina. And again, that game there it was uh, a very, very good game. Two fantastic goals from their captain. And looking forward to some more action here tonight. That's right. Hopefully we got a cracker of a game. Hellenic got us underway. Straight away, Hellenic on the gas early here. So Hellenic are in the blue ship running from right to left, while Litchfield are in the red and black running from left to right. So tonight's captains for Hellenic is Gemma Martin for Hellenic, and for Litchfield is Aaron Davies as usual. So number 23 for Litchfield there, Aaron Davies. Again, a couple of key matchups just going into the game tonight. Uh, Gemma Martin playing as that striker up top centrally uh, with Rihanna Maid and Jasmine forward on the right hand side. A formidable front three up against uh, probably one of the most consistent uh, back fours in the in the competition with uh, with Fogarty Davis in, in, as a central pairing and and Brock on the right hand side with um, uh, I think it's uh, on the left hand side. is uh, Georgia Rankin. So, again, very, very interesting in the way that's going to pan out tonight, but uh, I'm expecting fireworks tonight, Alex. So, um, I'm, I've been looking forward to this one all week. I think this is this is going to be one of the toughest classes. Obviously, Hellenic are the Premiers, and they won the league this year, and Litchfield finished in fourth. With Not so long ago, we thought their season was a bit of a write-off, but they've been absolutely in form. So I'm going to try and bring it out the back here. Great ball by Martin there. Screaming call from Maya there. Cut out by Brooke. And Fast tempo start here, John, which from both teams. Yeah, and, and you'd expect that, Alex. I mean... Watching last night's game against uh, Mindel and, uh, and uh, Casarina last night, it took about 20 to 25 minutes to get going. And then after the 25 minute mark, Mindel started to, as the game went on, Mindel started to get more and more into the game and scored two cracker goals. Second half was all, was all Casarina. So in terms of uh, a neutral, great game to watch. Took a, a while to get going, but in the end it was a really, really good game to watch and could have been, it, it's a lot closer. I mean, it was a uh, couple of chances for for Casarino as well, just before the, the first half, obviously just before the second half. And then um, in the second half, probably first 15 or 20 minutes in, they had really good chances, but just couldn't convert. So yeah, it was a very, very good game and I'm expecting uh, the same here today. Offside call there against Litchfield. So again, it's gonna, I think it's gonna be end-to-end -end stuff in this mm. first Opening 10 minutes to see which team settles first and maybe dominates a bit more of the possession. We do know like we do know Hellenic do like to uh, hold possession and, and go for it. And Davis will sweep that one up. Should find a touch line for a Hellenic throw, which might will play really quickly. Loose defending here. Keep will collect. Beautiful far ball in there from Myatt. Trying to find forward, but yeah, great in swinging ball there by Myatt. Again, you give her time and space, Alex. She um, she can uh, pinpoint any cross or any balls forward. So, be interesting how these three go up front today. Uh, we know they possess a, a lot of talent. Hellenic do up in that final third. 
But we, we talk about finals football, Alex, and, and again, you know, Litchfield's finished fourth this year in the, in the regular season. Uh, slow to get going at the start, but um, in terms of the way they've come into the, into the season, finished on a high with probably five at the last six games, and here we've got an opportunity now. Bad for Quick shot there from uh, Bella Clark. Didn't really see Chloe Coombs. It's running in towards the back post there. Again, early signs for Litchfield. Playing a ball in over the top. Breaks out for Bella Clark again, who's looking up. But the keeper will pick that one up. Yeah, good signs from Litchfield earlier on, Alex. It's, uh, two times Bella Clark has broken free on this right hand side. And we do know she, Bella Clark has pace. I think the question today would be, can they stop that front three, Alex? I mean, that's going to be a, a huge task in, itself, a task in itself. We talk about the, the front three, what they possess going forward. If they can hold out and keep a, a clean sheet at the back, they've got every... Here we go, forward. Aaron Davis comes in and clears. Yeah, you're, you're right there, John. Do you reckon uh, Greg would have sat down through the week? Obviously, he would have known for a while that they were playing Hellenic um, and then watched all Hellenic's previous games, especially in the tack and third. What, you know, sort of work out how to counter. We're already looking right now that Aaron Davies is sitting a lot deeper, more like a sweeper at the moment and leaving Kelly Fogarty a bit high in that central role. So you reckon Greg would have watched, yeah, went through and watched all them tapes? And, and we're seeing, we're seeing, it's pretty evident at the moment. Um, every time the wingers have got the ball, any winger, which is always, any of the Hellenic wingers, which is the right or left, which is either Might or um, Ford, Ford, um, you can see that they're, they're, they're trying to double, double across and get across and help their, their left side of centre back and right side of centre back. So, in terms of, I think Greg is well aware of it. And I watched these two teams play uh, probably about three weeks ago, and it was a nil or draw then. And it could have gone either way. So, plenty of Hellenic players standing over the ball here. Well, we got a forward, Jammer Martin over there as well. Yeah, might might will be looking at this one here. Yeah, that, that one's come straight out of the training paddock, Alex. That's great. right. Straight out the set piece book there. <laughs> Good pressure there from Chloe Coombs to force it out for a, for a throw in. Jesse Brock with a with a long throw in there, which has been a trademark all year. Again, Jesse Brock will be lining up to take this throw in. Takes a quick one this time. Good flick on there by Bella Clark. Daphne Chalakis now in the middle of the park. Looks to play it forward to Martin. Fogarty intercepts. There's that long throw again, Alex, causing all sorts of problems. Uh, again, Alex, you know, Bella Clark breaking into some good areas, but just that final delivery that in is what's letting her down. That's right, just that poor execution there. You can see what she's trying to do. She's trying to link up with Chloe Coombs in the centre there, but... I think she just hasn't realised she's got a bit more time, maybe just to take another touch and maybe go in towards goal and open up her angles, because at the moment I think she's just rushing. Maybe a bit of nerves, Alex. Yeah, that's right, John. Maybe... maybe the rest of the team should realise that and uh, maybe talk to her a little bit more, you know, let her know that she's got a bit of time and time and space on the ball. 
you know, that, that was a perfect opportunity there for her to, to drive on, in on goal. See how the Clark sister battling there. Again, Leone Rich is going in hard there. Uh, she plays a massive part for this Litchfield team. You know, she's, um, if I could say anyone that's been consistent, it would have to be herself. Miss, she's been consistent throughout the whole, the whole season. She's, um, you know, she plays as a centre back. She can play basically anyway, utility. Oh, Coombs breaks with the ball here. Good tackle there by Kiel Martin. I think he'll be uh, expecting a bit, bit better of a goal kick here. And just looking at the way uh, Litchfield have set up, they've set up with a traditional 4-4-2 uh, set up with uh, Coombs and Bella Clark playing up top. Well played there by Litchfield. And playing it into a congested area here. This is But as we know, John Hellenic's a very hard team to deal with on the counter. Yeah, they've they got that, that, that pace up front and you've got the likes of uh, young Ellie McCrillos as you just come back into the team now and here's Bella Clark again. Just bat, that ball just bats off the back of her there, just didn't fall right. Well, Leone Richards, again, putting in the, the tackles into that uh, early, which is what you want to do in the, in the first, uh, first minutes of a game. You know, show intent, say, hey, we're, we're up for this today. And just judging from the way the game's gone so far, Litchfield are well and truly up for this one today. That's right, John. And, and everyone knows, obviously, before the game, you can hear you know, a, few, a few players talk about how physical it, of a team that Litchfield actually are. Not only how well they play football, but how physical they are. That, you know, they don't... They don't miss a tackle. They'll they'll get stuck in and give you some stick. Yeah, they breed them tough out there, Alex. Aaron Davies on the break here. Try to force it through. This is where Hellenic's dangerous. Yeah, Fogarty Fogarty there. Great interception, read that well. Yeah, Litchfield needs to be careful on that losing that possession in the midfield, especially with Aaron Davies out of position there, going for a run. Yeah, again, good opportunity there. Obviously, you know, Aaron Davies loves, we know that she loves a run getting forward and trying to create stuff and create overloads in midfield and in, and in forward play. But when she gets caught out, um, that's when um, it's danger sides for Litchfield. And Litchfield really putting the squeeze on Hellenic there. Chloe Coombs making a break here. So Kelly Brock pretty busy early on with the throwing duties here. Yeah. Most probably this will go straight in, this one here. We're looking for Coombs just for the little flick on there. Get Hellenic time to counter here. Gemma Martin on the break now. Kelly Fogarty coming back. Again, uncharacteristic mistake there from um, 
Aaron Davis, but again, Fogarty just... I mean, they'll do that all day, Litchfield. They won't give up. You know they'll give 150% today. And there's a great example of, you know what, Gemma looked like she was through there. Gemma's not slow. She's probably one of the quickest players in the, in the Women's Premier League. And Kelly Fogarty showed a true pace and got back and recovered quite well. That's right. And, and then the goal kept pulling off a good catch as well. So it's all, all good Litchfield early on. Press and Hellenic and... Obviously getting the better of Hellenic with the press and, and uh, pressure that they're putting him under. But again, Hellenic on that break, on that counter-attack, are looking very dangerous early on here. Getting link-up play. Clark looks to come inside, does well. Goes, comes inside again. Great ball to Coombs. Yeah, great, great improvisation there. Again, Bella Clark coming inside from right to left. Trying to play that through ball, but again, just Coombe just caught on her heels there, Alex. Yeah, that's right. Chloe Coombe just caught on the turn there. She knew what ball was coming. She was just it was just released mid turn. Good ball there by Evie. Paneris now to Daphne Chalakas. Chalakas will play that through ball into Myatt. Erin should come here and clear this, and she does. Big thumping clearance there. Beautiful ball into space there. It's a foot race. Goalkeeper will collect that one. Jennings now. Again, and Kelly Fogarty really busy in this opening 16 minutes here. Yeah, they have great partnership there between her and Davis in the central of the Litchfield defence. They've been exceptional this year, Alex, and um, have been the you know have been two players that have been pivotal to the way Litchfield play. And again, credit to Greg and his coaching staff for the great work they've done at the club this year. Jem Martin will be called offside there. One thing you have noticed early on here, John, is Georgia Rankin is no more than two feet away from forward there. On that, that right wing for Hellenic. Wherever forward goes, Georgia Rankin follows. And again, it, Greg would be on top of that as well in terms of what, what he wants from his players. And again, shutting out the key players today will be, will be key for, for Litchfield. And we spoke about that front three, Alex. If they can shut those front three down from Hellenic, uh, they're in with a good chance. That's right, and we both know both, both teams have got some solid players on the bench and they can be introduced tonight as well. And Chloe Coombs closing that one down. Forces it out for a Hellenic throw, though. Surprise for me is Anita Price on the bench tonight. Um... Alex, we know what she brings to this Hellenic team in terms of playing on that left-hand side. So we'll be, I'll be very, very positive that we will see her sometime this afternoon. Here's Coombs now. Yeah, you're right there, John. And she, again, she, Anita Price is a, a strong, strong player for um, Litchfield. Uh, for Hellenic, sorry. So you'd think this is a game that's been made for her. Krillos, bursts of speed there, finds Martin now. Again, Georgia Rankin, quick off her mark there. Joanna McCrillos looks to spread the ball to Evie. Yeah, just took her eyes off the ball that last second, Alex. Yeah, wasn't really expecting it, was she, until the very last second there. There's that massive throw again from Jesse Brock. Can we get the better delivery now? It is a better delivery. Yeah. 
We're slowly starting to see Hellenic get, get into the game, start to settle, find a rhythm in their pass, and especially out the back there, John. Obviously going from the, the back four to the midfield. That's a pass you'd normally expect Ellie McCullough to make. So again, a bit of sign of nerves, Alex. Yeah, it could be the pressure. Obviously, we are playing for all the marbles today. Bella Clark, get, keep this one in. The ball is slowing. She gets there. And forward starting to drop a little bit deeper now. That obviously, she, Georgia Rankin's not letting her into the game much on that right-hand wing. So you're seeing forward starting to drop yep. and try and get some touches on the ball at least mm -hmm. in this game, in this first half. And, and Greg would be happy with that, um, Alex. As long as um, you know, Jasmine's going into a defensive third to receive the ball, as long as she's in a defensive third receiving the ball, I think uh, Greg would be uh, too annoyed with that. So 21 minutes have been played. It's still nil-nil in this semi-final. Big thumping ball forward from Aaron Davies there, but it'll be picked up by Hellenic. Kelly Fogarty will get ahead to it. Lost great little burst of speed there. Beats her opponent. Davis clears again. So Marley Clark will put that one out for a Hellenic try. Try to keep it in. In the sense, it's just been a lull now in the past minute or two in the in the game. High octane opening twenty minutes. Martin looked to, to look forward now. She's broken clear here. Brock comes in. Raffi will pull it back for the free kick there. Can great burst of speed from Martin there just to evade uh, the captain of Litchfield, Aaron Davis. But uh, again, Jesse Brock, she's done it all year. Just comes in and covers her, her fellow defender and clears a danger. So forward over the top of the ball here. Gemma Martin all alone in the centre of the box there. Ford would, would fancy this one here. To the far post. Janix is coming to deal with it. And she does. Ford would be a little bit disappointed with that. She would have expected a little bit better. Again, which team's going to take their, the opportunity first here, John? I think that's, that's the feeling I'm getting. Good flick on there by Jennings. And Clark now. Hey. Jennings wins that one. Lisa McCrillos plays that ball forward. Aaron Davis plays that ball forward. Bit of ping pong at the moment, Alex. That's right, end to end here. 
keeper comes and clears. Well done there by Nikki Hudvas there. She's had a good season as well, Alex, uh, the Hellenic uh, goalkeeper. Uh, only conceded 23 goals so far this season. She'll be hoping for an, a clean sheet tonight. Good ball by Myatt. Finds Macrillos. Good opportunity here for Hellenic now. Macrillos. Pops out to Gemma Martin who flicks it. Great defensive work there from Fogarty. Beautiful cheeky flick there from Gemma yeah, Martin to Myatt. Great, great. Again, you thought Gemma would turn here and have a shot and just look for that cheeky little flick on. And, but again, Litchfield alert to the danger and Fogarty is always putting her body on the line and making that crucial inter interception. Shalakis now has a pop from outside the box. Yeah, distance would have tested her there, Alex. Yeah, but I think, I think that's good. You've got time and space on the ball. Why not, why not have a crack at goal there? At least test the keeper out. But obviously, that effort went a little bit wide there. But, you know, it's a semi-final. You need goals to win, you know. You can't draw this game. It can only be winners and losers tonight. Playing for all the marbles. Obviously, if it is a draw at the end of, end of the uh, 90 minutes, we'll go to extra time and then to penalties, I believe. And the pressure from Litchfield there. Great Curling ball, ball into Myatt. space. Keepers come here now. Oh. Again, the vision for Myatt to play that ball in behind that Litchfield defence on for, for Gemma Martin was exquisite. That's right. The partnership that, that them both, they both have together is, is second to none there. And forwards coming in more centrally now as well. Again, Jesse Brock got ahead to it, but not enough to deal with it. She's under pressure here. Might keeps it in. Finds Bella Clark here. They'll win the throw in though, Litchfield. Ben Bella Clark's been quite a nuisance for Hellenic mm. in, in this one. Again, fair to say, everything's come from this right-hand side for Litchfield today, uh, Alex. In terms of when they're attacking, everything's come through this right-hand side. Maya on the ball here, looking to release early, and she does. Finds Fogarty, though. In place Brooke. Yeah, and the ref will call that one up. Foggy will be the first one to get there, and she does. Tries to play the rest of the midfielders there, but they were pretty switched <laughs> off there, John. Yeah, again, uh, just caught on their heels there. Again, Jennings caught on their heels there, but, um, yeah, just Fogarty's been exceptional in this early start or early part of this game, so. Bella Clark again on this right-hand side. Beautiful ball over the top by Jennings there. Falls for Coombs. Yeah, Kill Martin sweeps like she's been doing all year. Richards now. Effort there, but Kill Martin got a touch to it, so the keeper's got to deal with it. I'll right go point. after a corner now. I think the Hellenic keeper realised it took a deflection off uh, Kill Martin there. So Erin Davis will come out to take this one. We know she's got a long-range boot on her. And there's a lot of tall timber for Litchfield as well, Alex. So. That's right. 
Wait, it's, it's all this and Jesse Brock's going to stay back and do the defensive work with uh, Cali Fogarty, though. Ball in there to the so far Mario post. Clark there picks it up at the far post. And forward picks up the ball. She's going to drive it under pressure from Bella Clark. She still drives with it, though. She's looking forward. Jannings will pick up the ball here. There's Plays it over, over the top. top. Again for Clark. Great tackle there by Paniris on the touch line there. Again, Kelly Fogarty picks it up in that central role. Plays it back to Aaron Davies. He'll lump it forward for Chloe Coombs. Kill Mark gets ahead to it. Martin looking for that flick on. Georgia Rankin has a swing and a miss there, but she's recovering. She's going to do the defensive work now. Half an hour gone here. Still goalless. So we're coming into that danger zone now, John, in that last 15 minutes of the first half. What do you reckon, mate? You reckon we're going to see a goal before the halftime whistle? I, I hope so, Alex. In, in terms, I think we need a goal just to spark this game up a little bit more. Even though the, the football's been great so far, it's been end-to-end, -end, but you know, I think we just need that goal just to, to set the tone. And at the moment, um, you know, it's pretty even at the moment, Alex. Yeah, that's right. Not one player sort of standing out who's looking like they're going to get a goal. I think a goal can come from anywhere at this point in the game. You know, we've got Gemma Martin, who's scored 25 so far this season. Doesn't look incredibly dangerous at the moment, but you know that's that's when people underestimate her. And I've seen enough games this year where Gemma Martin hasn't done much during a game, and then all of a sudden she pops up and scores three goals. That's so, right. And that's what good strikers do, Alex. You know, they find the right opportunity, and when that opportunity presents itself, they're there to take it. Great ball there by McCrillos. Great tackle by Davies. Last he's defending. Came over and covered quite well. Clears her lines. Richards now. Malia Clark plays it inside. Well, well played. Bella Clark looking for the early ball forward, and she does. She's still going. She's looking at Jennings. Plays a 1 2 over the top. Kill Martin screaming over to do the defensive work. Yeah, she's been very, very good, Kill Martin, today for, for Hellenic and again. That's right. At the moment in this game, John, I think it's the, the defenders from both sides that are really sticking out for us. Ball to the front post, only finds Myatt, but it pops out to Jennings here. Plays it straight back to Myatt, though. Myatt's driving, he tries to play Gemma Martin, but cut out by Jesse Brock, who launches it forward. Plenty of work by Battle Clark in this first first half here. Here's the other Clark sister doing the work. Great through a throw. Great tackle there by Joanna McCrillis again. Both defensive lines are standing tall here so far, Alex and Tactical change as well. Jasmine Ford gone into the middle of the in middle of the park, and and Ellie McClure's going on that far right. Yeah, forward wasn't getting much of the ball there on that on that playing wide, which actually surprises me. John, normally uh, Hellenic sort of 
swap sides with the wingers. So I'm surprised Mike didn't go over to the right hand side for a while. And Jesse Brock does a little flick on, but drops to Chloe Coombs. Jam and Martin will pick that one up out of the pocket of Kelly Fogarty. Good opportunity here for the blue and whites, but again, well read and by Davis. Blues win it back, but. And Georgia Rankin are leaving that, letting that one go. Gemma Martin on the ball. Ball still in. Marley Clark driving on the ball here. Links up with Chloe Coombs who turns. Got muscled off the ball there. Might links up with forward. Jesse Brook plays it wide. Again, forward, getting himself into good areas down in that central central part of the of the pitch. But again, probably the wrong option going forward there, Alex. Uh, Jim and Martin making a great run centrally, and forward decide to go with uh, Mide on the on the left hand side. I think I was going to say Jim and Martin was breaking in between two defenders, which. They've known have been closing it down all, all night where Mike had a bit of time and space and only one defender there. So I think it was a numbers game in their forward's head. And Brock just saw that one out and a goal kick for the Litchfield team. So a bit of a stalemate here, John. Who's going to start risking it for the biscuit? You know, Who's going to start gambling it and, and really going for it in... Pushing players forward. Well, it was the same. It was the same scenario last night. Again, in terms of what was happening last night in the in the in the first uh, semi final between Casarina and Mindel, it, it took about twenty five minutes for both teams to actually get going. Obviously, this this game here today is a bit more high intensity, if you want to put it that way, Alex. So both teams looking to try and, and score, but at the moment, not one not one of them has really rolled the dice. Um, but again, I think both, both coaches will be very, very happy with the way both teams are playing at the moment. It'll be very, that's, very interesting how right. we... we cautious football, off. isn't it? Very, very cautious football. Again, Jesse Brock's trademark big throw there. Just finds Hellenic boot, though. Falls for Mike. She sees Gemma Martin in space, but Aaron Davis to deal with it. Deflection comes off Gemma Martin, though. Jesse Brook taking a time. It's a foot race on now. It's a bit interesting there, John, that Mike didn't 100% commit to that when uh, she saw Davies screaming down for the ball. Yeah, again, probably a bit of a lapse of concentration or call it miscommunication for the, between the players. But um, again, just looking at uh, the Hellenic bench, they're looking at uh, making a few changes already and I won't be surprised to see Morgan, um, Morgan Johnson to, to enter the fray. It's going to be a defensive change as well. So you reckon Morgan Johnson's been brought on to deal with the threat of Bella Clark in that in that position there? Yeah, exactly. And again, she's um she's been utilised in at a, at a left back position where somewhere I haven't seen her play this year. So interesting choice there by Matt Hadjik. But again, putting an experienced player uh, at left back just to tighten things up because um that's where all Litchfield's um, attacking uh, or opportunities are coming from, Alex. Yeah, you're right there. It's it's. But unfortunately, uh, Litchfield haven't struck. 
Charlie Fogarty will do with that one. Finds Molly Clark. Again, Kilmartin starting to sit a little bit deeper for Hennick in that back line as well. Well read by Fogarty there. Intercepts there from... Tries to play Malia Clark, but plays it out. So we're coming up to the 40th minute here in this first half. Into that final five minutes, and if uh, Women's Premier League football this year is tight as anything, John, these, these five minutes can, can pump goals. Kilmartin clears, finds Johnson on the... Again, Jesse Brock plays Bella Clark in behind. Great Early ball, ball in. in, good ball in. That ball just seemed to hang and then just drop vertically to the floor right in front of the keeper there. But better, better delivery in, Alex. Absolutely. Uh, signs from, from Litchfield there. So Brock tried to find Jennings there, but it goes out wide thanks to the defensive pressure from Maya there. Ford tries to flick and header on there. Jesse Brock will take this to get us underway again, and she does. Again, Hellenic is starting to really pump numbers in there on uh, Bella Clark on these throw-ins. Johnson with the throw. Again, I think Jessie Brock will be uh, stretching their mums out at halftime. The amount of throwing work she's done in this first half. Yeah, she's done. <laughs> Goes long again. Ball flicked over the top there. Chloe Coombs is going to come put some defensive work in. Intercepted by Kilmartin again. Expecting a long throw from uh, Jesse here. Maya plays forward here. It's counter on. She finds Shemma Martin, who's on the ball. Tries to play centrally, but Aaron Davies cuts it out. Little flick there. Plays it over the top to Chloe Martin, who will be called offside. Doing great ball there by uh, Aaron Davies, just over the top. Again, Coombs just. Can't hold a run there and just too eager to get uh, forward there. And See, John, when you're coaching players, especially forwards, and they're, they're running in a straight forward line, what, what would you be telling Chloe? Maybe, maybe try and run in at your, your angle, perhaps yeah, delay the those run? And exactly, yeah, exactly. Those diagonal runs are, are, is what key. You know, playing the shoulder as well of the defender is key as well. There's an opportunity now for the blue and whites just before the, the end of the first half. Martin. Finds the net, just side net and only. Again, tough angle there to... That's why we've seen a score from tighter angles over this season, John. If you're going to have a shot from that angle, Alex, it's got to go to that far post, low and hard. And yeah, Bella Clark on the break here. Looking up for her options. Turns it back, finds Jennings, who puts the ball in. 
loose clearance there. Johnson's going to come back and do the work. Bella Clark steals it back. She puts the ball in. We'll go for a corner. Joanna McCrillis there with a the, the thumping header over the top of her own goal. Yeah, again, Morgan Johnson just trying to take on uh, Bella Clark there and getting dis dispossessed. And, and Joanna felt that one there. She's <laughs> taking a second. There'll be one minute of time added on. One minute. So if you heard that, we're at the end of the uh, regulation time and there'll be a one minute additional time here as Aaron Davies gets ready to uh, put this corner in for Litchfield. She had a huge boot heading towards the back post last time. Ball comes in, Bella Clark jumps, is still in the box. Malia Clark coming through. Georgia Rankin slow to react to that. Kelly Fogarty under pressure from Gemma Martin here in the back for Litchfield. Gemma Martin picks the pocket. <laughs> Kelly Fogarty does enough. She clears it up the line. She tries to find Malia Clark, who's going to go for a run here. Yeah, great defending by Fogarty there. And there you go. So that's it. The referees call the half time here as it's nil nil in the, at the end of the Ladies first half between Hellenic and Litchfield. Please hang around for the half time show. Very extraordinary first half of football. Just sensational. Individual skill, playing hard, can watch it all day. Well done to Hellenic and Litchfield. Take a well earned rest. We'll be back with this exciting first semi final in terms of first playing fourth. Sure.
Welcome back, Darwin Football Stadium on a Saturday afternoon. What a pulsating game of football that is. That's the first half. It just gave us everything we expected. Amazing uh, attacking raids from uh, uh, Jasmine Forward into uh, Gemma Martin and Rian Mart working hard on the left here on the grandstand side up against those fantastic four from Litchfield. Erin uh, Davis, um, Jesse Brock, uh, Kelly Fogarty and uh, Georgia Rankin on the other side. Uh, just and Ellie McCrillis from Hellenic pushing as well. But there were just so many good players out there. And what a, what a performance from both sides. We expected this. I didn't expect a, a nil all at half time. I thought it might be one each. But uh, plenty of attacking raids for Bella Clark in that half. I noticed that Matty Hadjik there, our coach, made a change there to bring on um, Megan Johnson to go uh, down on that. Sorry, um, I'll get a name. Of Morgan Johnson, my apologies. Uh, coming on in that second half. I can see a couple of people going, yeah, you got it right at last. Um, but that was just fantastic football. My name is Bruce Stoll. I hope you've enjoyed the call from Alex uh, Button and John Tamboris. I know they've been really excited about getting the opportunity today to call this game, and I know they'll be over the moon about what they've seen here uh, this afternoon. Uh, no score on the scoreboard, thanks to Northcrest at this stage. Uh, no injuries as well, and uh, from the technical areas, everyone was very positive. And what I can tell you is that both teams were really up. There were a lot of smiles, a lot of uh, backslapping, a lot of happy faces in that group. So this next uh, 45 plus will be sensational. Now, of course, we can't separate them at the end of full time with uh, added uh, time with that. We'll then go into extra time, 15 minutes each way. And if there's no result at the end of that, we'll then go into penalty shootout, which we'll do, do at the McMillan's Road end of this fabulous Larrakia Park. I want to thank the uh, Larrakia Nation, the elders, past, present and those emerging. Uh, for permission to play this game here today. We thank them for their, um, their custodianship and the original owners of this beautiful part of Australia. So on behalf of Football NT, uh, sit back, have a little bit of a break for half time and just watch these exhilarating women's players come back in the second half and deliver what we expect to see. Just a fantastic game of semi-final football. One of these teams will get through the grand final to take on uh, Mindel. Who will it be? We can't separate it at the moment. It is just sensational football.
Welcome back to uh, Darwin Football Stadium for the second half of this semi-final clash between Hellenic and Litchfield. The uh, scoreline is still nil-nil. I'm joined with uh, John Tambora still for the second half here. As Litchfield gets us back underway. So as we just seen there, John, before just before the uh, whistle, we've seen the introduction of Anita Price into this game. Yeah, it looks like um, Matt Hadjik's rolling the dice quite early here and making his substitution as quickly as he can. Um, he obviously wants to get a goal quickly as possible and obviously just looking at Lisa now, they're showing a bit of intent to get forward and make things happen. Ken Fogarty closing down players. She's been doing it all day so far. So great defending by uh, Kelly Fogarty there. So it looks like Daphne Shalakos has came off for um, Hellenic here at half time. And obviously replaced by Anita Price who straight away They've got a corner here, Hellenic. Not a bad player to have on the bench, Alex. Absolutely right. Long ball in. Thumping, headed from Gemma Martin there. It goes wide. Getting no subs from the, the Litchfield team so far. No, Greg, Greg doesn't like to muck around with his team too much. He's very rarely will you see Greg go to the bench in the first half or at least the first open in 60 minutes, I think. He's forward. forward now. Great ball through. Oh, I just had too much on it there, Alex. That's right. Just... It just punched it through when it just needed a little tap. Keeper plays it high and wide. Chloe Coombs will pick it up. She comes across with it. Looking for Bella Cox to make a run, and she doesn't, though. Might get to boot to it. She'll play it over the top here. Aaron Davis sweeping in there to pick that up. Yeah, well cleaned up there by the captain Davis there. and A little misjudgment from Bella Clark there. Confusion in the back from Hellenic. Gives it straight to Jennings. He's going to play it up into space. She's going to play inside to Chloe Coombs. Morgan Johnson covers. Yep. Loose first touch from forward there. So Georgia Rankin was able to play it forward. That's where the ball's stuck. And Davis got a bit of time here to turn to look forward. Looking at options here. She plays it to Who's Georgia Rankin. Rankin. Who takes a touch. She's going to hold it up against forward. We'll give it away for a throw in. Yeah, just a tangle Ford's of... Uh, just holding that face here. I think the referee's just going to hold it up to see what happens. Maybe a, maybe a loose elbow there on the turn. I don't think there was any, any intent in that on there, Alex. No, it's just the twist of the body. I think it just... Georgia Rankin will put that one back out again. Defensive header from uh, Kelly Brock there. Jennings plays the ball forward. Again, Fogarty Bella now. Clark's been everywhere. Yeah, she had to time that tackle, uh, that tackle rank in there, and um, it had to be well timed. Otherwise, uh, you know, Ellie McCullough's in danger, danger areas there, just inside the box. She goes down, it could be close to a penalty there. So, well timed tackle there by uh, Georgia Rankin. So, and Maya will come over to say this one. Chloe Coombs is going to drop to do some some defensive work here. Chloe Coombs covering the short. Let's see what leaving. Uh, Bella Clark up the top there. 
early test for the Litchfield defence here. Meyer pumps this ball back post there. Comes off the header forward, but Jesse Brook gets a foot to it to clear it out. Morgan Johnson puts it out wide to Meyer again. Drills it forwards. Keeper will collect this one. So we're only, I, know we're only, I know we're only five minutes in, Alex, but already we're seeing, um, you know, the blue and whites just uh, trying to trying to force things and trying to play that forward ball early and already a couple of chances. Aaron Davies puts that one up to the heavens and it'll come down. Plays it wide to Jennings. Morgan Johnson now. Looks to bring McCrillos. McCrillos, great, great into, into play there. Again, that final, del that final ball, Alex, is what's uh, letting, not just Hellenic down, both, both Litchfield as well. You know, they're getting into good areas, but just that final delivery in is what's, um, or that final execution is. Yeah, John, I think, I think I, I, you might agree here. I think they're trying to overwork it a little bit too much here. I think I'd like to see some players take some shots. Yeah, you're probably right, Alex. No one's really tried their luck from outside the... I know Daphne Chalak has tried a couple of times um, in the first half, but besides that, we haven't really had any... Well, yesterday's were long-range, you know, efforts there. My place, Price here, is onside. Early ball in. Much better there. Forcing the keeper to work. So Nita Price come on and... Having an early impact. Malia Clark here. Georgia Rankin with the, the header. McCrillos now. Plays it wide. Or oh, Hellenic, this uh, first uh, seven minutes or so, Alex and. Yeah, that's right, John, but they need to start putting some points on the board here. So I haven't all the possession of the world, but you've got to put the ball in the back of the net at some point. Wouldn't be surprised if uh, Greg looks to his bench. Another corner kick to the blue and whites. Good ball in by Myatt. Great, great header by uh, Brock there. McCrillos now. You know, it was great, again, set up for a nice there for Mike, but just uh, obviously just slipped back a little bit and got, got over it. Yeah, you should hear that ball like I play golf. Should be a little bit disappointed with this out there, not to at least get on target and, at least draw and test a save, the keeper. At least, but yeah, at least draw a save from the goalkeeper, yeah, you're right. We know she's got in her locker, Alex, and, and again, she would be very disappointed with that effort. Absolutely. The one thing we haven't seen from Litchfield, which they have been good at in the recent weeks and months, is uh, getting hold of the ball and passing and moving it around. Of... And yeah, a long ball over the top now. here, but Kill Martin will deal with it. Under pressure, though. McCrillos now in the middle of the park. Looks to play that forward post to Martin. Gemma Martin, Martin the board, a bit of space. space. Can she finish? Gemma Ford puts that one in the back of the net. So Hellenic take the lead in the 53rd minute here. And again, great ball through there. Martin loads of space. And Ford, just like good players do, follow up on everything. And That's right. Seeing the chance and took it, so... They should have been a little bit disappointed there. They've, they've not started this second half well. Obviously, de defensive lap there. But it's been coming, Alex. It's been all Hellenic this uh, second half. So. That's right. The Litchfield aren't playing the way they did in the first half. You know, the only, the only person that's applying that pressure that, like they were in the first half is, is Bella Clark. But as we both know, John, you've got 11 people on the pitch there. And, and if 10 people don't press and one person does, it's a waste of time.
So now it's up to Litchfield to respond here in this game. Ball had just rolled over the line there, so it'll be a Litchfield throw. Morgan Johnson's going to come back to deal with this. And she does a, with a cheeky uh, back, back heel there onto uh, Bella Clark. Again, Morgan Johnson just showing all her experience there. She's a bit shaky once she first come on in that left back position, but it's settled in, in a, as the game's going on, Alex. Yeah, that's right. You know, sometimes as players, you just got to forget that it is a semi final. Martin again. Davis comes across to, to intercept, which she's done nearly a majority of the game so far. Anita Price with a throw in here. Way by Fogarty. Price whips one in. No urgency from the back four of to open up here and generate some options. Krulos now. Needs support. And gets it from Joanna McCrulos. Back to Ellie McCrulos. To Ford. Tries to go for the nutmeg, but not happening. Coombs now. Malia Clark keeping that ball in to find Chloe Coombs. Current loss there, picks that one up. I think it's important that Greg sees a bit of a reaction now from his players. They're down 1-0. Yeah, oh. that's, that, that's right. You know, Hellenic started off with all the uh, pressure and possession, but they're slowly dropping that back now. But a Clark got an option here. Calls for a free kick from the crowd there, but referee said got the ball. Finds Chloe Coombs. It's going up a notch, hasn't it? That's right. Litchfield's starting to respond now. And it was a bit like that in the first half, John, wasn't it? It was back and forth. One team would take control for five, ten minutes, and the other team would. Let's see what happens. Let's see if Litchfield can pull one back and... Flick on by forward there. Rankin again with the throw. So go for a Hellenic throw this time. Georgia Rankin with the header and collision. Absolutely no call from either player to put a name on the ball there. Again, both players showing that willingness to go for the ball and all eyes for the ball, and that's what happens, Alex. <laughs> and that's what's happening in the second half, just a lack of communication here. Here 
Let's pause here while the uh, officials talk to one another. George Rankin taking a swing. Again, you feel like the pressure of this game has got to a few players tonight here, John. And exactly. And we talk about, uh, you know, performing on the, on the big stage, Alex, and, you know, that lapse of concentration, it was just that, that, that lapse of concentration is what's cost Litchfield so far. And in finals games and against this front three for Hellenic, you switch off for one second and they'll punish you. Bella Clark with a head on there. Chloe Coombs is going to... Morgan Johnson with a big clearance there. Aaron Davies deals with it under pressure from Gemma Martin. Flick on by Jennings there. Yeah. So what would you tell the players about the pressure leading up to this game, John? What would you be telling them in the week at training about the game, about the pressure, about the build-up? Again, in terms of... For Hellenic, I mean, they've been here before, so, you know, it's nothing new to them. Um, for Litchfield, I'd be excited more than anything, you know, to enjoy the moment because, you know, playing in finals is what it's all about. And, um, you know, speaking to Greg throughout the season, you know, it, the, the confidence and, and, and what is happening down at Litchfield in terms of the, the group of girls that he's got there, it's been fantastic. And, um, you know, even though they, they might not go all the way this year, you can see that they are the most improved team in the league without a doubt. That's right, and it's a project for them out there as well at Litchfield. And year on year, they're growing and developing and becoming better and better. And you know, and these players have got to realise they've worked hard all season to put themselves into the finals. You know, it's that pressure. It's good pressure. It's good pressure to be under. We'll talk about finals. I mean, I've been lucky enough to be a part of some finals um, in my lifetime, Alex, and that final week at training, it's all about, you know, confidence, getting the players' confidence up. Team bonding's key as well. Um, obviously, you know, with your, with your teammates and, and your coaching staff and, and whatever, and again, enjoying training and, and make sure that you leave training, players are confident, smiles on their faces, ready for the big game, because you're not going to change much in a week, Alex. That's right. You know, and, and there's coaches out there that say it's, it's, I get it's finals, but it's just another game of football. No different to the first game of the season, last game of the season, the game in the middle of the season. Every game you've got to win, there's an opportunity here. Big clearance there. And Fogarty plays it forward here. Mally Clark gets a touch, plays it back inside. Close down there, fast by Hellenic. Again, Litchfield, uh, we know they're not going to go down without a fight here and there. There's been a, a, a great reaction which uh, their coach would be very, very happy with so far. That's why we've got just under 27 minutes left of this regulation time. You know, both these teams coming into this and in winning form. My with the ball over the top there. Emmett, Aaron Davies letting it bounce. Again, Fogarty coming over to do defensive work, but Gemma Martin's hot on her heels. Fogarty not taking chances there, plays it out. There was Joanna McCrillis coming off there. For number 11, Denise Marquette. Yep, that's correct, yep. Martin with a bit of space now on the edge of the box. Aaron Davies with a clearance there. And that's, a, again, just switching off again. And we spoke about it before. You, you allowed Jim and Martin in the, in, in the box there with space. Uh, she will punish you. Quick technical change by the uh, officials here. So we've 
got 25 minutes left of regulation time in this game. Hellenic have got the lead 1 0. They're about to take a corner here. Forwards over the top of the ball. Puts it in. Again, it's hanging around in the air there. Goes out for another corner. Yeah, Nobody again. could get a sweet header to it. It was just. Yeah, great ball in by a forward there and just flat, you know, and just driven in to that uh, near post. Great game of keepy ups in the box there. You see a forward does the same thing here. Yeah, got a bearings wrong there. Forward. And that, that's been forward's problem this season. John is taking them corners. She is 50 50 if she's going to hit him sweet or if she's going to just hit it straight out. Just needs to be a bit more consistent, I think, Alex. Yeah, that's right. And I think that's something to work in in the off season, isn't it? It's just those those key little pieces, you know, sit down at the end of the season, work on uh, where you were strong, where you could be, you know, weak in the weaknesses and strengthen the strengths. Big tackle on Bella Clark there. Maya with the ball, plays it to Anita Price in the corner, who's still going. But Jesse Brock will try and marshal that one out. It goes out for a corner. So Myatt's going to take this one over the top here. Again, Myatt's been consistent in this game with her corners. And this time we've got the Anita Price hanging on the edge of the box here. Expecting a big run in from her. Opportunity there for Gemma Martin to just punch that header in and it just glances wide. If it's anyone you want, edge of the box, free header, it's Gemma Martin. Man, you and I both know, Alex, uh, nine times out of ten, that would have found the back of the net. So she'd be disappointed with that, I think. Yeah, that's right. Body position wasn't just, just wasn't quite right when she went to, to take it there. Goal kick goes straight to forward. He flicks it up in the air. Body gets ahead to it, but just for Anita Price, he strikes it first time, but it'll go wide. I think uh, goal kicking duties will go to Aaron Davies this time. Just looking at the way uh, Hellenic play when they play forward, especially with the addition of Price in the second half, the, the dynamics change since, obviously, since the first half, Alex, in terms of with the way they play and the way they go forward. She yeah, just, that's right. She just adds that extra spark up front, doesn't she? And obviously, Litchfield are clear underdogs in this fixture tonight. It is first versus fourth in the league, the way it finished. But anything can happen. So, 22 minutes to play here, but Ford's pace on the ball here. Step over, lovely double step over there. Drops to Gemma Martin, who misses an absolute sitter there. Aaron Davies switched off. She missed it absolute. She would be kicking herself on this one. Yeah, again, that's not the Gemma Martin we know. And, but again, great lead-up play from forward here on this uh, touchline side here. You know, great little step over to evade her defender and get a great ball. That's right. And being only 1-0, the, the Hellenic coaches and staff will not be, not be too comfortable yet. And forward happy to give up on that. Thumbs up for the idea. She says thanks, but no thanks on that one. Georgia Rankin on the ball here. Going to throw it in. So will we see uh, Litchfield go to the bench? Soon, John. You know, we're coming into that final 20 minutes now. Martin now. Gemma Looks Martin play. playing wide forward. to forward there. Again. Again, great lead up play there by the blue and whites. Name keeps popping up, John, and 
And you know she's not not on the score sheet yet. She nearly got the first goal, but instead uh, sat up forward. She had, th she had four opportunities in the past couple of minutes to put one in the back of the net, and she hasn't yet. It's been all Hellenic, but second half so far, Alex. That's right. Maybe the half time didn't suit Litchfield. And it happens, teams have a half time and, and it just turns turns around for them. 180s. Johnson there. It's beating better Clark. Plays a great ball into McCrillos, who looked to release Price. Rockets back and in, intercepts, which he's done. Or not. He's putting a great shoot, Jesse, Jesse Brock today. On that uh, right side of defence. It's not over yet. We've still got 19 minutes left of regulation time here, plus any additional time that the referee would like to add on. Thumping clearance from Aaron Davies there, and it bounces kindly for Chloe Coombs, who just can't control it. I think the problem that Litchfield are having at the moment, Alex, is that the, the midfield line with the, the attacking line, the forward line, is a big distance between them. So every time that ball does go forward to, to Coombs and Clark, there's no support in behind. You're right, and, and Litchfield have played most of the season in a 4-3-3, and, and as you said earlier on, they've, they've changed to a 4-4-2 tonight, and forward on the ball here, still driving. And the flick by forward carrying just too much weight there. We'll go out for a goal kick. Just looks like Litchfield are just hanging on at the moment, uh, Alex. Yeah, it looks like they're going to the bench now, though. So Megan Johnson's going to come on here for Jennings. Jennings making her way off. Pushing Rachel Thurlow over to the right-hand side there as well. So look at that, John. As soon as I open my mouth, they change it to a 4-3-3. And again, this is the, probably the, the roll of the dice for, for Greg now and trying to go for that, that equaliser. I'd say you'd rather go down fighting than uh, not. Bella Clark on the ball here. Loose to touch there. Johnson, Morgan Johnson still on the ball now. She still breaks into space. Tries to set up Gemma Martin, but the way she was winding up, I think Gemma Martin thought she was going to take the strike there and forward tussling here. Puts the ball in. Josh with Gemma Martin. She twists and turns. Jesse Brock first to get there against Anita Price. Megan Johnson's first pass goes straight out for a Hellenic throw. She won't be happy that her first contribution was a poor pass. Kendra, she held it up quite well just to execution again, let her down there. That's right. Greg will be saying, uh, take a breath, just relax. Again, Hellenic's defensive work. A great burst there from uh, Lisa McCrillos there. And Open for a bit of curl, but it stayed true there. Aaron Davis will take this goal kick, and she does. Launches it up the field. We see another Jesse Brook trademark long range throw here. And we do. Outstanding performance from Bella Clark tonight. She has been Litchfield's standout player up the front there, as well as uh, Kelly Fogarty in the back line. Long throw there by Price. 
Fogarty still going. Launches it forward. Megan Johnson, who's just came on, gets a touch to it, but doesn't fall nicely. Got it breaks there, but there's an opportunity on. The keeper's going to come out. Both well players done will by stay the down there. here. That's a 50-50. Both, both players going for the ball. The keeper's come off second best here. Obviously, on the replay, it does look like uh, this field player does get there a split second before. Obviously, the clash wasn't quite, was a bit tasty there. Yeah, all credit to the goalkeeper. They're coming off the line, being brave and pulling off a great save. Exactly what you want from your goalkeeper in this situation. So the, the referee's brought the ball back here. Obviously tried to play the advantage, but uh, there was no advantage in that play. So Aaron Davies over the ball. Can they get that equaliser they so desperately need? I'm expecting George Rankin to be all up there as well, but still playing it safe, John. Scream and effort. So we're coming up to 13 minutes left of regulation time. Can Litchfield scrape something back? Can Hellenic extend the lead? Hellenic is slowing the game down a little bit here. It's not really like them. I think Hellenic have got to be careful. Slowing the game down and trying to wind down the clock is one thing, but they're playing a fast attacking brand of football in this second half. Kelly Fogarty again, going for a big run. Pulling out all the stops. The front three from Litchfield letting them down again. Lack of movement, moving in the wrong direction. Swiss Clo Coombs, an attacking player there. Watching the ball. Looks like Litchfield are making their, their third sub for the night. Forward with the ball going forward there, but finds Brock. Brock's touch for on Shaman Martin. Again, fast tempo here. Shaman Martin plays Mike, but she's beat to it. Ball read there by Fogarty. Sense of danger and came out to clear and intercepted. Well read. Anita Price in the centre here, flicks it forward. We'll pull back for offside. Keeper had it covered anyway. Again, you'd, you'd expect you'd expect Price there to pull the trigger there. She's well and capable of um of shooting there, Alex, and just trying to walk the ball in. I think that's that's what they're trying to do at the moment, Hellenic. Yeah. So this is Rachel Thurlow coming off here, and Baldwell coming on. Number eleven coming on for number twenty-five here. Aaron Davies on top of the ball here again. Thumping it down the line as she always does. Sub straight into the action here. Big head from Jesse Brook. Finds Morgan Johnson. Pumping ball forward here. Coombs will try and keep this in, but uh, she ran a bit out of real estate there. And That's right. We're coming into the last 10 minutes here, John. Went to Litch. will start throwing the kitchen sink up there as well. And Anita Price to place forward here. Kelly Fogarty left on the dirt there by forward. He's still running it. Plays it out wide. Early ball in. 
A promising build up again, just that execution is letting him down, Alex. But again, forward, every time she gets the ball, she looks to create something. That's right, and especially now, Nita Price is playing central, and they've had a bit of a, a rotating change in the front three for Hellenic there. I was suspecting that in the first half. It's had a pretty good effect here. Again, Morgan Johnson on the ball here. Trying to link up play. Clark on the ball. But Morgan Johnson comes back and chops out for a throw in. Georgia Rankin's going to come out to take this one. So we're in the final 10 minutes here. Turning 1 0 to Hellenic. Jesse Brock plays that forward. She's trying to find Bella Clark. Macrillos again, strong in a challenge. Maya plays Johnson, who's looking forward to release. And she does, she plays forward. Georgia Rankin there with a wonderful tackle. Kelly Fogarty will punch this one forward. Kelly Fogarty, Fogarty will take this touch. Yeah, literally re need to realise there's only eight and a bit minutes left of regulation time here. They need to do something. <laughs> Mike's had her all go out there. Can we see a bang to the end of this game here? Can Lidgefield pull one back? Clarky Combs on the ball. Tries to play it across, across the pitch. Kelly Fogarty here. Drops for the substitute Thurlow, who tries to release Chloe Coombs, but finds a blue and white sh shirt. Last roll of the dice now from Mitchell. We've got seven minutes to go plus added time, Alex. So looking, looking forward to finale. That's finish right. Here. You know, you still got four centre backs, four defenders in the back there. Opportunity here. Forward in, in a in the middle middle part of the pitch at the moment. Looks to get through. Does. Intercepted by Dell. McCrillos now spreads it wide to Ellie McCrillos. Johnston. Bella Clark. Again, covering, putting in those last ditch tackles. And I try, but Bella Clark's had an outstanding game for Litchfield today. He's been their, their number one player in, in both, hearts, both halves here. Hasn't give up on a single ball. Even if she knows she's, it's going out, she's going to make sure it goes out. Kill Martin looks to play that ball forward. Brock intercepts. So we see Mosca Papadakis here come on for Hellenic. Morgado. Get another tactical change. Morgado will come off. And at this point, he's dropped Price at right back. And Mosca looks like should go up into the wing on the left side. That's right. It's a usual position for Mosca there.
Ball over the top from Johnson. Fogarty on the ball, but just finds Johnson here. But wasn't expecting it, but I think still got the ball, plays it through. Yeah, ball release. Great idea, but just had too much on it there. So what do you do, now? John? You're in Greg's shoes now. Would you just leave two at the back and throw everyone else forward? And yeah, again, we're, we're, we're having the same discussion last night with John Dean in regards to the women's game of uh, the Mindel uh, Casarina game. Um, again, you know, do you go for it and just go man for man in the back and, and try and flood that that forward line and maybe get an extra body into midfield? Do you play more direct and just play those long balls forward? Yeah. Is it is it better to go out? saying that you did everything you possibly could, then to go out with regrets, going, maybe we should have threw more people forward, maybe we should have did this, maybe we should have done that. And, and that's part of, of, of obviously, the coaching journey, uh, Alex. You know, you learn. You know, so at the end of the day, you know, Litchfield have done very, very well. Aaron Davies on a big run here. She's still going, but it'll run out. She won the throw-in, though. I'm surprised we didn't see this earlier from Aaron Davies. We know she can run on the ball. She's confident with the ball at her feet. It looks like uh, they've just got given her a shot from the bench just to get forward now. So looks like Greg's uh, rolling the dice here. Final three minutes. They'll get another shot at this. Jesse Brooks, big long range throw. Can we see some last minute action here? Straight to the keeper's hands there. Lynch for driving forward here. Loose touch. Morgan Johnson again. A great ball there by Johnson. Finds Myatt. Again, intercepted Ke by Kelly, Kelly Fogarty. Fogarty. Great defensive work there. Plays the ball to Myatt, who's looking up for an option. Plays it centrally. Georgia Rankin there, cut that one out. Well, that's 90 seconds here now. Plus whatever the referee wants to add on. Can we see... Some last minute action. Can Litchfield pull one back and send it into extra time? I haven't really looked like it in this second half, but anything can happen. And we know with Litchfield, Alex, they, they're a team that's going to give everything to the end, to that final whistle. So Hellenic will know that and. And this would uh, favour favour the Blues here at the moment, just slowing things down and no That's real right. urgency to, to take a quick throw in. And the final 30 seconds here of regulation time and then it'll go into additional time. Georgia Rankin with the uh, clearance there. Anita Price puts that ball so far up there. It comes down with snow on it. Finds Mosca who gets ahead to it. There'll be three added minutes here. Uh, there will be three minutes of time added on. Three minutes. So Keeper will pick this one up. She looks to launch it early. And she does. 
Aaron Davies picks it up. But it just doesn't sit right for her. Yellow card for Aaron Davies there. Again, Aaron Davis showing a bit of frustration there. It was all ball, but again, took the player out as well. And first yellow card of the game, Alex, which has yeah, so far been a very, very good game. So Hellenic will get us underway here. Deflection Four breaks for Martin now. Gemma Martin finds Myatt. So we've got about 90 seconds left of additional time. It was three minutes additional time. Looks like Helena are going to go to the bench to make one final substitution here. Looks like Sophia Malboy is going to come on for uh, Hellenic. And Ellie McCrillos will come off here. Yeah, another great ship by McCrillos there. So Sophia Malboy comes on for the final minute of this semi-final. Just enough time to put some dirt on the boots. Again, Sophie Malboy, experienced campaigner for the Blue and Whites. Maya dropping back to do some defensive work here. Clark plays George Rankin, but the ball wasn't favourable. Lisa McCullough's putting pressure and winning it high up now. Got to go out for a goal kick. Interesting to see how much longer the uh, referee adds on for the yellow card that was there at the beginning of the additional time. Well, Litchfield in no rush to get this underway. forward here. Wins the corner for Hellenic in this last moment of the game now. Again, I presume this will be the last kick of the game. Can Hellenic get a, a, second, a second goal? Big kick downfield here. Martin now plays it to Johnson. Tackled by Richards. It's the referee will blow the final whistle here. So Hellenic win the semi final 1 0 over Litchfield. It was a pretty close game, John. It was the, the winning goal was nothing to write home about, but at the end of the day, it was a goal that counted. Exactly, Alex. And again, we always thought it was, there wasn't going to be much in this game. We had the, the informed team, which was Litchfield coming into the finals against the champions, which was Hellenic. And again, Hellenic's been here before. And, you know, in these, in these you know, pressure situations, they, they seem to deal with it and know what to expect on the day. For Litchfield, again, what a year it's been for Litchfield. Let's not forget Litchfield. They've had a great season under, under Greg and his coaching staff. They'll be back next year, and I guarantee they'll be back with a bang. So, again, congratulations to, to Hellenic. Um, they'll go into the final next week against Mindelasis. Yep. I'm looking forward to seeing that one. Yeah, that'll be a firecracker final there. But, again, Litchfield season comes to an end, but what a season they had. Hopefully next year they'll just get better and, and keep going from there. But, but that's it, I think. You have been a tribute to the Women's Premier League. You have been an amazing story.
2020. We look forward to seeing you next season, Litchfield. Congratulations, well done. Keep that applause going for our next grand finalist in the blue and white, Hellenic Athletic Women, who will join Mindo on Saturday night next week in the big dance. Well done to Matt Hadjik and Greg Smith for coaching the female sides in the Premier League. I know how hard Matt and Greg have worked. Really appreciate it, gentlemen. Uh, next door, we can't separate them. It's three all. We've now got an extra time. Kazarina Uni Azuri. On this pitch, up come the Premiers, Heleni, and they take on Kazarina in the Men's Premier League semi-final. 